Hello everyone. So today we are going to look at how organ systems interact. So in your Edmodo, you are going to go to the post that says interaction of organ systems. Here is the link for the reading. Here is my email that you can turn your work into. And these are the questions you are going to complete. So, um, organ systems often have to communicate to carry out certain functions. So they must be able to respond to each other and change their responses to keep the body in balance. All right. <clears throat> Now, communication between the systems is going to be controlled mainly by the autonomic nervous system and the endocrine system. So the autonomic nervous system controls um, involuntary functions. This is the one that said that is rest and digest. So this is the stuff you don't have to think about. This is your heartbeat, your blood flowing and your digestion. So you don't need to try to do any of these because your body is automatically going to do it through the autonomic nervous systems. All right. Now the endocrine system is going to be the system of grand glands, excuse me, that secrete hormones into the bloodstream. So um, the endocrine hormones are going to be circulated to cells in the body and the endocrine system is under the control of the nervous system um, by a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. So the hypothalamus is going to secrete hormones that travel to the cells of the pituitary gland and then the pituitary gland is going to send out hormones that are going to either turn on or turn off other endocrine glands. All right. So Main point there, um, a lot of communication happens through the autonomic nervous system and the endocrine system. Okay, so let's look at an example of, or a few examples of organ system interactions. So cellular respiration. So this is an intracellular process. So that means it takes place between cells in the same living thing. So cellular respiration is going to break down glucose with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and energy in the form of ATP. So all that means is you breathe in oxygen, you eat food, the food gets broken down. That's the breaking down of the glucose. Um, and the oxygen is also part of that reaction. And from eating and breathing, um, you are going to get energy and you are going to make carbon dioxide, which is a waste product that our body gets rid of when we breathe out. All right. So organ systems involved in cellular respiration, um, digestive system, obviously, because we eat, um, cardiovascular system. So the oxygen, so yeah, um, the glucose, is from the digestive system and then it goes into the cardiovascular system through uh, the blood pumping, helps bring the energy and everything to the rest of the body. Um, the oxygen is gonna come from the respiratory system and that is also part of, that is also in conjunction with the cardiovascular system because the cardiovascular system is the system that transports things throughout the body. And then the carbon dioxide um, is also going to leave via the respiratory system. So the minimum ones are the digestive, cardiovascular, and respiratory systems. Another example is the fight or flight response. So these are the nervous and endocrine systems. All right. So the fight or flight response begins when the nervous system senses a danger and the brain is going to send a message to the endocrine system through the pituitary gland 
for the adrenal glands to secrete the hormones of cortisol and adrenaline. So those, those hormones are going to go through the body. They're going to circulate um, through the cardiovascular system, and it is going to affect other organ systems, such as the urinary system, sensory systems, and digestive systems. So that's when you get certain responses that are certain responses to stress or a perceived threat. So you get an increased heart rate, bladder relaxation, hopefully not, um, tunnel vision, blood gets pushed away from the digestive system and toward the muscles and brain and anything that you're going to need to fight or flee. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you finish your work and turn it into me.